The power of gratitude, an expression that's thrown around quite often, but the first step to cultivating gratitude and consequently celebrating and enjoying those wonderful sensations and emotions that gratitude brings is by clearing and constantly clearing negative vibrations. By doing this, you're enabling space to be created for this high frequency of gratitude. Now, the cosmic law of the universe is dictated by vibrational energy. You have the ability to choose which vibrations you're putting energy into. So you're probably wondering, how do I change this vibrational energy? And there are many ways to do this, but one of the first things that I encourage is emotional tracking. And what I mean by this is when you become mindful of where your unconscious thoughts are going. Emotional tracking is constantly taking mindful awareness of where your emotional and energetic state is sitting. When we do this, we're able to put a pause on our state. We're not just going ahead, constantly allowing unconscious thoughts to take over our mind, but rather we become aware of those thoughts before they become ingrained patterns. And now remember, you have 90,000 thoughts in your mind, and most of them are exactly the same as the days before. So they've become ingrained patterns without you even realizing it because you're on a repetitive thought loop. So when we become mindful and we're constantly tracking, we're able to become emotionally aware of our energetic state and then shift it. So we become mindful of what we're consuming in the form of our own self-talk, but also conversations we're having, stories we're telling, um, media we're consuming, the food we're consuming. How does it make us feel? And then we start actually, when we start becoming consciously aware, we start consciously choosing what we want to consume. We start creating healthy boundaries around what we don't want to consume. And we start attracting this high vibrational energy for which we can be grateful for. And um, we also start attracting high vibrational energy that it matches our vibrational energy. The meditations and exercises that I teach you in the Cosmic Mind Shift program help you constantly track yourself. It helps you develop an emotional intelligence that enables you to constantly track. So quite simply, when a negative emotion such as guilt, fear, shame, regret, frustration, anger, jealousy come up um, and they come to the surface, you're able to catch it through emotional tracking and then you shed it. And you shed it straight away, you replace it with positive vibrational energy. And this process is called releasing and attracting. Again, I teach this in the Cosmic Mind Shift program, it will be make more sense as we go along. But letting go of the past positive and negative experiences in a way that induces gratitude and appreciation is especially important to cultivate the new vibration that will attract your desired destiny. Attracting positive vibrational energy comes in the form of sound. So once you've tracked where you've, you've, you are and you've shed anything negative, you then attract the positive vibration. And so we attract through sound vibration, and that could be self-soothing humming, that could be a mantra, that could be a practice of somatic tension release, as well as affirmations of grace, love, forgiveness, gratitude. Um, and it can also be in the form of different breathing exercises that are used to induce the parasympathetic nervous system, which brings about positive vibration. So soon our vibrations alter and we become constantly aware, aware of this cosmic law that states everything is unfolding in a way that reflects our internal vibration. Simply put, you will not attract what you consciously want if it is not a vibrational match to where you are.
And so that's why it's so important to start bringing up the vibrations. Because if you're throwing out these desires and wishes, but you're still in a low vibrational space, it will be very hard to attract that. Instead, you'll attract more negative vibration. If your vibration is at a low frequency and you're repeating in your mind everything that is wrong or you're going in a loop of negative self-talk and poor me stories, drama and gossip circles. When you're stuck in this low vibration, you'll find it hard to attract those desires because it doesn't match your vibration, right? And if you do manage to attract those desires, you'll quickly lose it. You'll, you, you either one will not be able to notice what you've attracted, what you've accumulated, what you're experiencing. You won't have appreciation for it. So what's the joy in that? <laughs> or as soon as you get it, you'll self-sabotage it and it will slip through your fingers like oil off a pan. By noticing the little things that we have in our life right now to be grateful for, by going into an emotional tracking, constant emotional tracking, and taking awareness of what we have to be grateful for right now, we start increasing our vibration. We start cultivating a high vibration of gratitude. And instead of worrying about what we don't have or what we've lost, we start attracting more of the high vibrational energy that is matching what we're attracting, what we are right now. So I invite you now to take a moment to consider what you are grateful for and then why. So I am grateful for because. And what you might find happen is that it starts actually matching what you're desiring. When you start looking into those reasons, it's a direct match for what you desire. And then you start seeing those manifestations come to fruition right before your very eyes. It becomes your personal reality. I hope this makes sense. I'll see you in the Cosmic Mindshift program. 